Hey guys, it's Nuka here, and I'm here for day 22, yes, 22 of the 48 day challenge. Uh, if my hair looks a little bit wet, it's because the day I'm recording this, I just took a shower, so, uh, yeah, my hair might be looking a little wet here, I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, for uh, today, for the 48 day challenge, I am doing member I relate to the most. And this was something I kind of had to think about when I was choosing it, because like, uh, so far I have had a couple members where there was like, uh, one or two things I could identify with, like, uh, if some of them were anime otaku, or, uh, idol fans, then I could relate to them. Uh, but I mean, I ended up, uh, going with, uh, the one so far that I have found that I can relate to the most at this point is Okada Nana. Now, there are a lot of things about Nana that are, uh, very much similar to, uh, my situation, I guess is what she would say it. Um, for one, she is a fan of anime and manga, especially the uh, beauty drama, which, uh, yes, I actually do like the beauty genre, too. I have uh, several beauty manga, actually. One notable one, looking up on my shelf, I have uh, Kase-san and Morning Glories. It's a great one, definitely recommend it. There's an OVA coming out soon that I'm pretty excited about because it's adorable. Uh, she's a very diligent and hard worker. Um, uh, me too. I have had moments where I, like, really work hard to, uh, do something. Even though there are moments where I kind of, like, I do sometimes procrastinate. I don't really like to say that I procrastinate. But if I'm, like, falling behind on something, I really do my hardest to get out. Uh, as much work as I can for it. And plus, uh, we both like, uh, we both like acting, we both like doing, uh, theater. Although I haven't seen her in too many stage plays yet, I think she's going to do a lot more. Uh, she does really want to be a, uh, a singer and an actress, which that's kind of the same for me too. I am aiming to be an actress. And, you know, she was an AKB fan when she was growing up, so that was thing. But, um, what made me come to uh, find her a lot more relatable was, uh, after I watched her documentary and knowing what she was, uh, going through personally, uh, we talked about it more, uh, in that video when we were discussing Nana's documentary, but, yeah, I mean, it was... It was really rough thinking about her going through stuff like that, which I've personally never been through that, that exact thing anyways, but I have had moments where I've uh, thought negatively about myself. Like, right now I'm, right now I'm content as I am. I do want to work harder so that I can reach my personal goal, but I have been to a point where I was kind of like, self-conscious or thinking negatively about how I was. So seeing Nana, seeing her working so hard towards her dream and having, you know, even though she is struggling, she's still working her hardest because she wants to make her fans happy. And as much as she is struggling, AKB really is her happiness. So that was just something that made me like Nana even more than I already do. Uh, so yeah, that's why I chose her to be, uh, the member that I relate to the most, so far for now. Uh, I was trying to look, I was actually going through, like, Wiki48. Uh, I wanted to find, see, I have Asperger's Syndrome, I have autism, so... I was kind of curious about, are there any members who are confirmed for having autism? And I couldn't find any information about that. I don't know of any of the members in the 48 group, or heck, I don't really know of that many idols in general who have 
come out saying like they have Asperger's syndrome or they have autism. So I don't really know about that. But I mean, that's just personally me. Cause like, I feel like if there was a member who did have autism or do had, if they did have Asperger's syndrome, like I did, I feel like I would really, really relate to them a lot in that sense. But but for now, Okada Nana, yes, she is the member that I can re relate to the closest for now. <laughs> uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe in the future there will be a member who has Asperger's syndrome who joins the group. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video. So let me know in the comments what you thought, like, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!